Man, can't you see the things of the world happening? Man, I think back to this. I think back to when I was a kid. And yeah, there were some bad things happening then. But man, it's on a whole nother level now, right? This world is crazy. And it's because people are chasing after the world and they're removing God from everything else. From the schools, from the workplaces, from the government. And then they're wondering why everything's going downhill so fast. Look, if you remove God, you remove everything that's good. It says that God is good, and Jesus tells us that only God is good. You remove him, you remove God. Good. And it also says that God is love. How many people in this world are chasing after love in all the wrong places? tells us that God alone is love. If you remove God out, you don't have love anymore. You might have lust, but you don't have love. Man, isn't that just a testament to what our nation is today? We got lust, we got that, but we don't have love anymore. It's because we're chasing after the lusts of our youth. Think back. I'm going to take you down memory lane here. Hear the birds chirping. Think back to high school. I know for some of you it was further back than others, but that's okay. Just think back to high school, okay? I'm not pointing any fingers. Just saying, okay? I don't, I'm not staring at anybody. I'm looking up right now. I'm not looking at anybody, Okay? Think back to high school. Think about all the things you were chasing after in high school. I know for me, it was girls and sports, drugs and, al- and, and girls. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. And hobbies and all kinds of crazy things, right? All the, anything, anything you could get your hands on, right? You're like, oh, I'm young. I go after, I see what the world has to offer, And I remember God coming after me then and God being like, hey, look, it ain't going to be good for you. And I'm like, hold on a second, God. Like, I got stuff to do. I ain't got time for all this right now. That's that's what I was like, just running after all my own stuff. But, you know, it was in that running away from God that ended up leading me to God. God. Because God showed me that all those things that I was chasing after didn't satisfy me. I only wanted more and more and more and more and more. I remember being at parties and people would be passed out drunk on the floor. And then the next night we would all come back to the same place and they would be passed out drunk on the floor again. And I'm like, was it not enough the first night? So you had to come back again and do it again. You see, they're, they're chasing after things. They're chasing after fulfillment that is just not there. It's just not there. It won't fulfill you. It won't satisfy you. You'll just want more and more and more. But then I remember, you see, I was, I was kind of raised in church. My parents were divorced. And so I was like, uh, every other weeker, I went to church. And I, not willingly, I mean, I was drugged to church, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dad made me go, and so I went. And so, you know, the, the thing about everyone is that when you hear the word of God, you know it's the truth. It's just if you want to follow it or not. He says his word will not return void, but will accomplish what he pleases and will succeed in the thing for which he sent it. So I'm there, you know, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. And I'm sitting in church, and I didn't like to go to kids' church because I was, I was I'm not a kid, I'm, I'm big, I'm grown, right? <laughs> I'm sitting in the main sanctuary. But I remember listening to the preacher talk every, every other Sunday, and there are things that stuck with me. And one of those things was 
You know that verse where Jesus is talking to the woman at the well? We're talking to about a woman who had five marriages and was working on the sixth. She wasn't even with the guy that she married the fifth time. She was working on the next one. And it's like Jesus was saying to her, hey, have you come to notice yet that the thing that you're chasing after isn't out there? And he said, but the people who come to me, instead of being empty, I will become a spring of water, welling up out of them, overflowing, a river of life coming out of their soul. He was telling her, hey, the thing that you've been searching for is me, is Jesus. It's not in all the men that you've been chasing after. No, it's in Jesus. He was showing her the things of the world aren't going to satisfy you. You have a choice to make. Do you want to keep chasing after them? Or do you want to come to the one who will satisfy you, who will fulfill you? Because it can only be in him. As Christians, we have this word to give to the world. Just as Jesus gave it to the woman at the well, so he has called you to give it to the people around you. 